All righty, welcome back. Today I'm going to be a tryhard and use this version of the Phoenix Force deck. The goal is to break top 5,000. I'm almost there. Okay, we are up against 885. Okay, we're going the Dagger Phoenix Force line again. So is this a Shuri Sauron deck? Maybe. I might be able to snap them out of this game. I wonder. I'm going to play Carnage here, and then Nico since she has the move spell, and then I can play Phoenix Force over here, and have Phoenix Force pop mid immediately for the buff. And hopefully I can draw into one of my tech cards for their potential uh, uh, Taskmaster. Play Phoenix here. Nico moves the Resurrected Dagger mid. Oh, they can move with New York too, though. So this is just going to be a massive guessing game on turn six. Okay, okay, okay. What do I want to do? Okay, am I going to have priority? Am I going to have priority? What's dagger going to? Plus three, and then back here, plus nine. So dagger will be at 22. I don't know if I'm going to have priority. And then a Shuri here. Uh, New York is messing me up as much as it's going to mess them up. Maybe I can dissuade them from moving to New York. Oh, I forgot the extra card on Dagger. Yeah, so I will definitely have priority here. Okay, there's the Red Skull. Oh, and the guessing game begins. What is my Dagger at? I like how you block that. 26? Oh, thank you for moving your dagger out of the way. Nice. Victory. So, the reason I played Shuri in New York was I want them to think I'm going to load up power in New York, which makes them less likely to move cards over into New York because I'm about to have a lot of power here. So ultimately, my, what my play would have been is to move Dagger left and then play Deathlock right and Multiple Man. And then again, it's just a guessing game. Do they move these out? Do they keep everything here? Uh, if I move Dagger over here, which is what I was going to do, uh, they didn't play Sauron. So they can't play Ebony Maw left or add power left. They played their other one cost, which is zero. So I just win left, period. So with, if, I, if I move Dagger over, 
Uh, they have 18 here. I have 12, 13, no, 12, 15. And then multiple man. So I would have played multiple man mid because it would have been a tie, but I would have gotten the buff from Muir Island to put me over the top here. And then we just have the 10 from Deathlock over here in case they decide to slide maybe just a zero and a Shuri or something. So yeah, that's that's kind of how I wanted to cover my bases. And they left because they were super nervous of New York as well. Okay, we are up against Grizzly. Mindscape is perfect if I can get Phoenix Force. Okay, not great luck so far on the draws. This is our only line, so we will continue on down. Phoenix Force? Phoenix Force, please, please. Oh, that's nice as well. That is almost snap worthy. Give me a free Phoenix Force, please. Oh, wow. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're stuck with three power? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, what a turn of... <laughs> the Gladiator destroys the Nimrod, and then they get locked with Havoc, and they get denied a draw with Black Widow. What a, uh, what a sequence of events there. Fantastic. Free cube. Boy, I wish I would have snapped earlier. Uh, this is a good example of how Mill can backfire on this deck. If I already have a destroy and they pull Phoenix Force, Phoenix Force is never destroyed because it merges with a card in that lane. Uh, so if I've already done the destroy, it will merge with, bring back and merge with that destroyed card, and it'll be safe no matter the power. Uh, if Gladiator clearly destroys, destroys Nimrod, that's fantastic. I get 12 free power uh, total. And then Phoenix Force can bring back the destroyed Nimrod, and that'll be an 11-point Nimrod that I can destroy further. Uh, Gladiator can also, or Yandu can also destroy my Dagger or Multiple Man if they are still in deck. And then I can play, I get Spare to destroy. So there's a lot of ways how playing against Mill uh, can backfire for my opponent. Of course, it can work in their advantage. I'm not saying that. Uh, but it can also help me as much as it helps them. Uh, the thing with trying to hit a number, you cannot get so focused on that. The same thing with trying to get to infinite. Marichiso? Chisio? Uh, if you get focused on a number, you start to make bad decisions. So it's, I don't think I play the dagger now because I have Shuri Nimrod in hand. And on the last turn, I can always use dagger and ghost spider. So I leave that option open for me. Uh, big Sag that you got the infinite, got the drag, Yonder the more, but sadly the hella. Yeah, that is rough. These Playing against those hella decks, uh, it's the hella casino. It's, it's tough. Uh, <laughs> Fast forwarding through discard is tough too. <laughs> Very tough. Uh, uh, I think I skip again. What do I? One, two, three. So I'm going to need to play a card next turn. I guess it's going to be Polaris. Uh, just play Polaris for the stats. And then we will do Shuri, Nimrod. I don't really have my destroy cards. I don't know what deck this is. They've only played Magic. Hmm. 
Oh, is this what? I, you know what? Just for fun, uh, even though I want to hit 5,000, just for fun, we are going to show the bringing back the Nimrod line. So we're going to play Nico here. Now, when you bring back a Nimrod, you better manage your board space. So we're actually going to bring... So I'm trying to just spread out my power. Because they have two over here, I'm going to match their two. So if I need to go taller in other lanes, I can. So we're going to intern. I'm still afraid to snap because I don't know what in the world... This is a Living Tribunal deck. Is it a Living Tribunal deck? Why do they have Red Hulk if it's a Living Tribunal deck? What kind of deck is this? Okay, anyway. Uh... Oh, maybe it's a, uh, maybe they have Zola, and they can Zola their Red Hulk, so we just need to manage priority. Uh, I can always Sean. Uh, so where do I want to play this Nimrod? I think I want to play it mid, and get a Nimrod here, Nimrod here, and then I can play Phoenix Force and Carnage mid, if I can draw into Carnage. If not, I'm just bringing back a single Phoenix Force. Uh, so this deck specifically, it is... What in the world are you up to? Oh, thank you for that gift in Negasonic. Can I snap again? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Phoenix Force here, clearly, so I can get two without needing my uh, Carnage. And I'm not going to play any other cards. I need to manage my board space. So this deck, uh, is it reliant on drawing Nimrod? There are two main winning lines. Main winning lines. There's plenty of winning lines, but two main ones. One is your multiple man or dagger. Destroy one of those and then bring that back with the Phoenix Force. The other is your Shuri Nimrod uh, destroy line. So... It's reliant on you drawing one of those two, but you don't need to draw Nimrod. Uh, but you do need to draw one of those two lines. Uh, and I clearly have no clue what deck I'm playing against. Uh, so we, the plan here is going to be to stack two lanes with as much power. Because I'm afraid of them being a... Oh, that is a scary Red Hulk. Uh, so if I play Nimrod here, that's 22 power left. That's 22 power right. That better be enough. Uh, and then I also have my Venom. And what else can I play? What is the maximum amount of points? Maybe I do Shuri Venom. Yeah, the Shuri Phoenix line is fantastic as well. Uh, there's so many. That's why I love this deck. There's so many cool and interesting lines. Uh, they're not a Cerebro deck with threes and twos. I wonder if they retreat later. How do they match all this power across these lanes? Let's find out. Maybe it's uh, Hella. Hella Discard? Modok Hella? And with Living Tribunal, maybe? But this is a lot of power in these lanes. So if they can if they can beat this, GG's. And you see how we really had to manage our board space? Uh, and I, held, I skipped turns, and even though their Red Hulk was huge, uh, I continued skipping turns. Yeah, that Red Hulk is going to be humongous. Oh, we might actually lose this one. Mm. Oh, they did it! <laughs> oh, hilarious. What a game to break 5,000 on. That is absolutely hilarious. So, they took the 50-50. They had two cards in deck, which clearly was Super Giant and uh, <laughs> Hella. <laughs> and they whiffed. Because these 
this combination of cards, man, uh, a 27 Red Hulk, a 20 Infinite, I would have needed, I would have needed some fantastic luck, and I don't, I don't think I win this at all because of Iron Man. I don't even think Iron Man and Onslaught needed to go in the same lane. Uh, one, two, three, four, five cards. Uh, they had one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Yeah, they would have. Wow, what a, what a gamba. Unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, and there we go. Uh, we we broke five thousand on a hella casino game. I will I will take it. Uh, very nice. I, I I finally broke the barrier after. So I've been playing streaming now for an hour and five minutes, and for a full hour I've been bouncing uh, between the in the five thousands from five thousand nine hundred to five thousand and fifty, uh, never quite breaking the five thousand mark, but we did it. We're up against Lynn Sanity for any basketball fans. Uh, we <laughs> what is a retreat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I love seeing the end of games. <clears throat> this is snappable. So the reason it's snappable, we have Nico uh, draw two. Yes, it's draw two. Her icon comes and goes. We have multiple man. We have Phoenix Force. Let's do it. Uh, maybe if we draw into Shuri, we Shuri first because Kamrataj is here. Uh, but yeah, so your first point, dagger. Dagger is a lesser option, but also uh, it is killmonger proof. And I really wanted a deck that was very flexible because I take this deck into conquest, and if I go up against a destroy deck or a Sarah Tech deck or a Surfer Tech with Killmonger, I don't want to have to face. A, well, I guess we're not doing the Shuri line. I don't want to have to face a uh, a deck where one of my winning lines is obsolete, where I just can't use it. What in the world? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I will take that. I will take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> the Valkyrie. Fantastic. Uh, where's Sean at when I need him? Uh, do I? I think I play Phoenix mid. Just to know I won that lane. Or no. No, 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 no. I don't play Phoenix mid. Because what I want to do is play, I want to get more power to the left and right lanes. So I want to move Phoenix Force right and then go Spider mid. And then I'm able to spread Phoenixes more to the outer side, which I know sounds a little weird. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we know they have Red Hulk in hand. Who cares? I wasn't planning on using you anyway. And we should, we almost definitely should be able to win two of the lanes. I could even do Shuri, Nimrod, Venom. Hmm. Move this here. Go Spider mid. What is Shuri here? Uh, I'd love to see them play their Red Hulk early. <laughs> I'm glad I moved multiple man there. But we did use our Ghost Spider. So I still could play Nimrod there. Yeah, and I almost definitely play Nimrod there to just gain more power. 
but I need to be careful about board space. So, I need to move this here, or do I sit tight? Maybe I play Venom here. I think I'd play Venom right. I think I play Venom right, because then I can lock in, then I, I have more options. So if I'm doing that, I have three board spaces here. So then I do want to fill up my lanes, because I can always move over, and I have priority. So I think that's what we do. We stop them from sending any junk over my way. And then uh, I can continue to move. Okay, perfect. So we've blocked that lane off. So if this is some nonsense they're trying to send my way, no problem. Okay, perfect. Now I just need Sean. Can I please draw Sean? Will you? Oh, yes, I have to draw Sean. <laughs> Last deck. Okay, here we go. Uh, this better be... A super easy win. Like, come on, please. Let me let me get out of here on a nice easy win. Um, uh, let me think through. I don't think there's a way to get a multiple man to bounce back over here. That's that's what's going in my head right now. I'd love be, to be able to play Sean, and then have the multiple man that I moved out bounce back. But there's just not going to be enough space, I don't think. So I'll give him a thumbs up. He likes my, uh, or she likes my Venom. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to. So we're just going to load up this side. Play our Sean and call it a day. And thankfully, they're... What a clutch Doc Ock. Is that enough? To, I don't even think that's enough to win. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG's. Or as they say, a casserole. Sean Shi wanted to hide at the bottom of my deck, but thanks to Limbo, we were able to draw him. Uh, and Nico, of course. Can't forget Nico. So there we go. This is how we will end the stream. Did we get back above or within 5,000? However you want to describe it. Oh, we did. Look at that. Very nice. So, uh, hour and a half. We broke 5,000 and actually got to finish in the top 5,000. Uh, that was my goal. Honestly, that was my goal for the season. When I, I usually hit infinite in the first day or two, uh, or the first few hours after of game time. Uh, I think this season it took me five hours based on my phone usage that I looked at. Uh, and it was exclusively using this deck you see here. Uh, just good snapping and retreating. Uh, so I, I was able to get to infinite fairly quickly. And I usually do most seasons, or every season. Uh, I'm trying to be a little humble. Uh, so, but once I hit infinite, I usually just go to conquest. Uh, I have a ton of conquest borders. Yeah. Uh, so I have a ton of infinite conquest borders. That's usually where I live after I get uh, infinite. Uh, and, but this, and so my ladder rank usually goes down to literally 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 I've seen. Because I just don't play there. Or I just mess around use joke decks, off-meta decks, just try stuff out, and my ranking tanks. So this year, I this season, I decided, okay, let me try to gain rank. So yes, this season, I've gone into ladder, and clearly I'm having success there. Again, with this deck overwhelmingly, Editor Nerd Dynamite reporting for duty. 
to close out this video. This deck, I've clearly had a ton of success with it, both in Conquest and on Ladder now, too. Uh, making the top 5,000 uh, was a goal for me this season, and I was able to achieve it. So I recommend this deck to anybody that uh, is interested in trying it out. I've hit top 5,000 with it on Ladder, ranked infinite, which was a goal of mine for this season. So until next time, take care.